Hey everybody and welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesdays. I am your host, Miss Peppers. That's right, we're back again with Comic Book Addiction. That's right, located in Whitby, Ontario. They had a whole heck of a pack, a bunch of packs, and we went there on uh, Comic Book Day. And uh, there was 10% off on all Magic Sealed product. So it just happened to be a sweet happenstance for us that we got a sweet deal on some of these older packs too. So can't really complain there, but we've got Theros this week. Followed by Dragon's Maze, Return to Ravnica. Then we have Rise of the Eldrazi, Future Sight, Urza's Saga, Tempest, Visions, Mirage, and Alliances. So, whew, it's going to be an interesting week. So let's, uh, can we get these packs like in, in shot here just off to the side? I want to make sure that they're in shop, and I want to make sure that they're off to the side so that I have more space to work with here. So Theros, of course, is first. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can give to our patrons this week, because I'm hoping that we can find some good stuff. Now, of course, uh, the commons in Theros we're not really super worried about. Um, same with the, uh, the uncommons in Theros, not particularly interesting. Ordeal of Erebos, Century of the Underworld, uh, Dark Betrayal. And our rare, Fabled Hero. Not a bad little rare. Uh, very good for heroic decks. Good for white weenies. Um, especially if you have ways to target it. Nothing super exciting to, uh, you know, uh, send home with the patrons or anything like that. But that's okay. Maybe we'll find some other stuff. We got Dragon Maze next. We can see, um, we can see actually the Shocklands are in the land slot in this set, I think. Um, and that's like super rare chance, but like it is a chance. And uh, you could also get like a Voice of Resurgence, and I think it has some of the split cards are not terrible, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Tristani Summoner, Putrefy, very good removal spell. Uh, Kor Korozda, Korozda Gorgon. Oh, Progenitor Mimic, that's pretty sweet. Progenitor Mimic is a sweet card, too. And that is a nice mythic. And so what did we get here? It's not super pricey, but it is going to go in the patron pile, that's for sure. And, of course, we got a foil Ragdos Guildgate. Uh, that'll go straight to my man, Tony. Oh, we got a double Ragdos Guildgate pack. Good times. Good, good times. And I'm just kidding, Tony, of course. I know that you only want non-foil copies of Guildgates. Right? <laughs> Tony knows I'm kidding. All right, let's see. Return to Ravnica is next. We could get Shocklands in here. And, of course, Guildgates are in the common slots in this set, which is not amazing, but, you know. Savage Surge, Golgari Key Rune made, made drafting much easier, that's for sure, to have the lands in the in the uh, common slots. Golgari Key Rune, New Prov Guild Mage, and an Archon of the Trumative. Nothing super exciting there. We got a junk ad card and, of course, a forest. All right. We're moving into, like, the big the big dollary do packs. What are, we, what are we saying here? Rise of the Eldrazi. Now, of course, we've got levelers. I don't know if there's anything that I need to be paying attention to from, like, the common and uncommon slot. I'm sure there is. Let's let's go take a quick peek here. Rise. Rise of the Eldrazi. Excuse me, my goodness. Don't scale the images. Okay, let's see. In the common and uncommon slots, we have Ancient Stirrings. We have Not of This World. We have Wall of Omens. We have Pathraiser Path Ulamog. Pathraiser of Ulamog, I should say. We have Unified Will. We have Jorga Tree Speaker. We have Souls Attendant. What else? Anything? That looks like it. Oh, no. Inquisition of Kozilek. I knew there was another. I was like, there's got to be something else. So there's a couple commons that, of course, we need to pay attention to then. It doesn't look like I see any of them. Nope. None of the commons. Okay, that's fine. 
Now we've got uh, Kabira Vindicator, uh, Pinon Blade, Phantasmal Abomination, and it all comes down to this. What do we see? Gelatinous Genesis. Nothing super exciting there, let me tell you. And of course, we got an island and an Eldrazi spawn. Could have been good. Well, Gelatinous Genesis is still a dollar, apparently. So, I mean, I guess we'll take it. We'll we'll take it. Now, Future Sight. Another one that I don't know. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about Future Sight. So let's see what uh, let's see what the virtualizer or the visualizer has to say about this. We've got, of course, the Sliver Legion, which we know about. Wow, there is some stuff in here, isn't there? My goodness. We've got Dryad Arbor, which is an uncommon worth seventeen dollars. We've got Teleria West, which is an uncommon worth nineteen dollars. We have Sword of the Meek, which is worth $17. It's an uncommon. Holy moly. We have uh, Delay, which is a $5 uncommon. Street Wraith, which is a $5 uncommon. Utopia Micron, which is a $5 uncommon. Uh, we have Mystic Speculation, $2 uncommon. Uh, Narcomobia, $2 uncommon. All right, so there's definitely, there's no commons. There's no commons that I have to keep an eye out for. Just uncommons. And boy, howdy, are there some uncommons. I also have no idea what the, um... I have no idea. This is the first pack of Future Sight that I've ever opened, personally. Just so that we're all clear. So I have no idea if the order is different, or anything like that. Lanawar Augur, okay. Ah, yes, Edge of Autumn. Isn't this something that someone's talking about? Is this not seeing some... I think it is. It's not. Okay. This is a card that I've heard people talking about lately. I don't know why, but I have been hearing people talk about it. Lymph Sliver. Okay. Oh, wow, we get the crazy full art thing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, we'll put that to the side, I guess. I mean, I don't know if someone wants that from my patron pile, but maybe. Virtulent Sliver. Ah, good old Ghost Fire, too. Right. Virtulent Sliver's almost a dollar, so we'll put that to the side as well. Ghost Fire's cool, because it's like, I think this was like the first time that they made like a, a colorless spell that required a color. Is that correct? <gasps> oh my goodness. We hit a Sword of the Meek. <laughs> oh man. Sword of the Meek, everybody. That is a $17 uncommon. Is that what we said? Sure is. It sure is. My goodness. So that'll end up in the patron pile for sure. Let's see if it can scan it. Yep, yep, there it is. Woo! Boy, howdy. Spirit Undal. We've got... Remo uh, Remosian Revitalist. My goodness. And our rare? Take Possession. Which I don't think I saw on the list. Although, I have seen this image somewhere. Let's see. What are you sitting at? Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute, what? Take Possession went from rare to uncommon in Modern Masters. So that's probably not a good sign. I would imagine. Yeah, 29 cents. So nothing super exciting there. But holy moly, that's Sword of the Meek. Definitely uh, definitely a winner there. Urza's Saga, again, another set that I've never opened. So uh, let's go and just make sure that we're not missing anything. So we've got what? Urza's Saga? Yeah. Right. Right. Gaia's Cradle in here. Holy moly. But what have we got for uncommons and commons and things? That's what I'm more looking at. We've got Goblin Lackey, which is a $11 uncommon. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Priest of Titania, which is a $4 common. Okay. We'll take Key as an uncommon to look for. Wall of Junk. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Victimize is an uncommon. Acidic Soil is an uncommon. Goblin Offensive is an uncommon. Reign of Filth is an uncommon. Windfall. Argothian Elder. Okay, so there's a bunch of uncommons. One common specifically. 
Oh, we got the Thran Turbine, which is an uncommon. Only one common worth looking for, and that's the uh, Priest of Titania. There you go. So again, another set that I've never opened before, so I'm just going to put these cards to the side here. Oh, Remote Isle. Cool. Cool. Lands in the common slot with the uh, cycling. All right. Goblin Raider. Man, this takes me back, though. Like, I mean, I've never opened these sets, but, like, this is reminding me of, like, the cards I started playing with when I was a kid. Because it's the same old border and the old, you know, uh, the, the card frame. My goodness. Some good stuff in here. Oh, okay, so there's our rare. Argothian Enchantress, which I which is actually not a terrible rare to hit. Thirteen bucks. Not not anywhere near the value of the pack or what it could have been, but like hey, so I guess that means that the rare comes before the uncommons and then you get the uncommon. So again, like this is what I mean, is like because I've never opened these packs before, I had no idea that that's how that was. War Dance. Zephyd's Embrace. And Blasted Landscape. Well, none of those. It's interesting that the... So Blasted Landscape is uh, at a colorless mana to your mana pool, right? And it's an uncommon. But it's essentially the same as the as the Remote Isle. Oh, it doesn't come into play tapped. That's the difference. Okay. Interesting. So Because the Remote Isle comes into play tapped, but it adds a blue instead of colorless. And you can cycle it for two. And this one, can you can cycle for two. I was wondering why. I was wondering, like, why is it an uncommon versus a common? So there you go. I mean, we hit an Argothian Enchantress. That's pretty sweet. Something to add to the patron pile. I'll take it. I will take it. It's, I mean, sure, we missed out on, you know, uh, Gaia's Cradle or Sarah's San uh, Sanctum or Yagmoth's Will or Time Spiral or uh, Gilded Drake or Talarian Academy Right, like, there's a lot of rares that are over the $50 mark. We missed them all, but that's okay. That's okay. I will take an Ar Ar Argothian Enchantress to add to the pile. So, what's up next? What is this? Tempest? My goodness. Tempest is next. Okay. Now, this is an interesting one, because I have no... Because uh, this now we're into territory where the sets don't have common, uncommon logos uh, anymore. They just have the Tempest logo. So I'm going to have no idea what my rare is versus what my uh, uncommons and things are. So um, we're just going to scan all these cards. How about that? That seems like the easiest way of doing it. Okay, so that's a common... All right, good to know. So, Lightning Blast, Windrake. I guess we'll just, I'll just scan them all quickly here. Windrake, yeah. Spike Drone. Oh, why are you not? There we go. Good old Windrake, though, eh? Like the 2 2 flyer for three. It's a thing that everyone's used to now. It happens everywhere. What is this thing? Spike Drone. There we go. A stun. Armored Pegasus is next. So far, these are all commons, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Next up is Stone Rain. Oh, that's pretty cool art for Stone Rain, actually. I like that art. I've never seen it before. Now, again, I don't. I didn't play during Tempest, so... Stone Rain, 23 cents. All right, and that's a common as well. We got uh, Shimmering Wings is next. Okay, still commons. Circle of Protection White, good times. Oh, Rampant Growth, too. Well, we know Rampant Growth. We don't need to scan Rampant Growth, right? Yeah. And we've got Lowland, Lowland Giant. Okay, Bottle Gnomes. I think that might be our first uncommon. Is that correct? Is Bottle Gnomes our first uncommon? Let's see. Are you an uncommon? You are an uncommon. All right. And then we got Light of Day. Okay. And we got Nature's Revolt. Which means our rare is last. So we got Solitari Crusader. Alright, Nature's Revolt. Wait, Nature's Revolt is a rare? What? What's happened here? That's really strange. So there was an uncommon on the back. Was it? Were you guaranteed to get like at least one shadow creature in each Tempest set? Is that why? So the like the shadow, 
knight was on the back because it's got shadow. Like, I, I don't know. But there's an uncommon on the back. The rare was second from the back. I don't know if that's how they did it originally. I'll have to look it up online. So Nature's Revolt was our rare, um, and it was almost a dollar. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Visions is going to be the same. So again, like these older packs, I'm going to have no idea. Oh, this is... This is, uh, this is not an English pack of visions, just so that we're clear. So, uh, I told them that I didn't want foreign packs, but they obviously didn't listen to me. Um, so here we, here we go. You and I get to learn together because I have no, no idea what these cards are. Okay. That's heat wave and it's an uncommon, which means that, okay. So then there should be two uncommons there and then the rare probably. Is that right? Is that how that works? Hey, I know that card. That's Mana War. That's Mana War, right? Hey, look at that. All right. Uh, Heat Charm, I want to say. Something like that. All right. All right. Okay. So far, we're, we're, we're two for three. I had no idea what the first one was. I don't know what this is. Some sort of elephant, but I don't know what the name of it is. What's the name of this? Bull Elephant. Well, I got half of the name right. Uh, this looks like some sort of... Uh, this looks like some sort of sorcery or instant. It's like a... Some sort of protection card. I don't know. What is this? Gossamer Chains. Mm -hmm. This is Vision Charm. It's nice. See? All right. Some of these I'll get. Come on. Scan it. Curse you thing. There we go. Yeah, vision charm. All right, sweet. I have no idea what this is. Like, it looks like some sort of like enchantment or something. What is this? Wicked reward. Okay. I. Uh. Again, this looks like a stone rain. Maybe is that stone rain? It kind of looks like stone rain. Come on, scan it. Rock slide. It's close. It's close. River boa. Nice. Know that one. Okay. So far, nothing like over a dollar here. This is an interesting... I apologize for how, how slow this is going to be because I don't know these cards at all and I have to scan all of them. Uh, what is this? Mist of Vapors or something? Night of the Mists. Okay. Oh, I guess I should have guessed that with the dude there. Oh, is this... Uh, this Plague Rats? Crypt Rats. That's a dollar. Look at that. It's a dollar. It's a dollar right there. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Some sort of dragon, obviously. Oh, that's a summer bloom, isn't it? Tempest Drake. This is summer bloom, right? What's our rare? I have no idea what our rare is. Yeah, summer bloom. That's pretty cool. It's like 80 cents. I have no idea what this is. It's like flood something. Flooded shoreline. Apparently it's a dollar. I don't know. I'm probably not going to add that to the patron pile because I know that I've put a poll up on my patrons stuff and asked about whether they want some Japanese um, War of the Spark cards and, and it's been kind of hit or miss. So anyway, we're on to, of course, what was this? Temp uh, this is uh, Mirage next, right? So I'm not even going to, should I bother pulling it up on here? Probably not. There looks like there was a lot of cards we could have hit out of uh, Tempest that we just didn't get. Now, of course, they would have been foreign as well, but we had, like, Ancient Tomb and Wasteland. I think those are in the uncommon slot, if I remember. Like, maybe Ancient Tomb is a rare, but, like... No, it was an uncommon from Tempest, yeah. So, like, there were some uncommons we could have hit that would have been dollars, for sure. But we didn't get there, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, it was foreign pack anyway, so, I mean, I'm not gonna... And what are we on, Mirage now? Some pretty sweet, cool cards, though. Like, I mean, I haven't seen some of these in forever. So, Mirage is actually a set that I played a little bit of, but I mean, like, I was, like, very young, so I'm not going to really remember a lot of this stuff, but um, I just want to do the first scan here. I'm going to scan the first card and just see what we're at. Uncommons. So, we're, this is the same. So, it's going to be one, two, three uncommons, and then the rare. So, there, that's the uncommons. There we go. Okay, Choking Sands. I don't think we have to worry too much about commons from this set. I, I want to say we don't have too many commons from this set that we need to be worried about. Let's just see. Uh, we can go here. 
and we can go give me the prices price lists uh, let's do I think it's is it legacy that this is part of yeah Mirage here we go okay then I want to say okay show me commons only and sort by price okay there's only one common that's worth over a dollar and it's choking sands I don't know if it's in our pack or not um oh hello <laughs> uh, I'm I am not a funny man I know okay so we've got uncommons here we know enlightened tutor worldly tutor mystical tutor fire diamond a sky diamond bad river uh, charcoal diamond so we know that those are the things to look for so we're just gonna kind of pull these off to the side for now good old wall of roots solid card I love that card sapphire charm nice graveborn zombie so we know that the barbed back worm is our uncommon so once we get there we'll we'll check it out we got sandstorm oh boomerang yeah boomerang's a solid card too shadow guild mage okay so there's our barb barbed back worm which is only 13 cents we've got nocturnal raid which is not anything of interest we need to worry about i don't think let's just make sure that it is an uncommon which it is okay good good and then we didn't hit any of the uncommons unfortunately so we didn't hit on you know any of the tutors we didn't hit the diamonds unfortunately but what's our rare sunweb eh let's see no idea what it's sitting at 26 cents got there we we got there everybody all right alliances last but not least so the, unfortunately some of these packs could have had like some crazy value in them of course they they didn't which is unfortunate for us but at the same time it's still a lot of fun to open these up and check out the old cards that's for sure so i hope you guys are enjoying it school of the unseen i have no idea is this an uncommon it's an uncommon okay so we know that we're Okay, so we've seen two uncommons in our rare, I guess. Is that how this works? Let's just make sure. Is this a, is this a common? Yes. Okay. So we have uh, Versarid Armor, Errand of Duty, Lim Dull's High Guard, and I don't think, actually, let's just take a quick peek here, because this is what, Alliances? Let's check out Alliances, and let's just say, show me the commons. Are there anything that we need to be paying attention to? Gorilla Shaman and uh, Soldev Adnate. Sure. If we see them, they're over a dollar. So we got Taste of Paradise, Might uh, Martyrdom, Findhorned Druid, and there's our first uncommon. Right? Wait, is that... No. There's way more cards here. So wait. This is a different... Is this... Wait, what? Oh no, this is a comp. Okay, we had two of these in the pack because they're different arts. Huh? Uh, what was our first uncommon? School of the Unseen. Alright, when we see the land, we'll know. Storm Shaman. There we go. School of the Unseen. Right? And that's our uncommon. So now let's check the uncommon slot here and just see. We've got, of course, Force of Will, which we which we know what it looks like. But then we also have Elvish Spirit Guide, Limdull's Vault, and Shield Sphere, which are all over about $5. Now, unfortunately, we know that the next one is Elvish Bard, which is not anything of note here. And Juniper Order Advocate. So no Force of Will for us, unfortunately. And none of the other hits in the uncommon slot. And our rare is Varchild's War Riders, which I'm assuming is... Also, not something of note. Oh, $4. Look at that. So apparently, that's not a bad little card. Oh, I guess it's 3-4 for 2. It has a cumulative upkeep. Put a survivor token into play under target opponent's control. Treat this token as a 1-1 red creature. Interesting. That cumulative upkeep is not very hard to deal with, especially if you have some way to, like, essentially apply negatives to your opponent's board state. And it's a 3-4 for 2. With Trample. And Rampage 1. Not bad. Not bad. All right, cool. That's a cool old card that we'll add to the patron pile. I'm happy about that. So there you go. We got some We got some decent hits, um, you know, throughout everything. 
we hit that sword of the meek which is super awesome you know and we did get a couple of the older cards like argothian enchantress and war child uh Var Child's War Riders, right? We hit, of course, the Progenitor Mimic as well, which is nice, a nice little mythic to go in the pile. Um, and I don't know what we're going to do with these Japanese Visions cards. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but who knows. And maybe that's not even Japanese and I'm insulting people's language at this point. I have no idea, to be honest. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've been your host, Mitch Rivers. Again, this was Comic Book Addiction. That's done for this week. Tune in next week for another store. We're going to be checking out, hopefully, later today. And... I hope you all have a great day, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.